you know guys Jace has uh, needed something to do so he started hooking into this thing now if you remember this truck we got it going and it had some seized injectors uh, all on one side which was really kind of weird FJ40 Land Cruiser with the UZ in it it's been in someone's barn so last registered back in 2006 2006 that's a long time ago and as you can see Jace has already started hooking it to bits finding his way through so our, our brief on this job is, is this bit okay it's not it's not this piece, no. It's not this piece. Yeah, this piece needs work. It's not the chassis or brakes. It's the engine and maybe a clutch if we can get a clutch going. And what so wiring related and a prep of that engine. All pretty normal stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure Jace may he did send me a photo from in here and I believe it involved a, a rat's nest. Yeah, sitting in there, and hence he got out the water blaster and gave it a blast. You can see things like that. Uh, yeah, normal, just normal. Oh, actually, I broke it. And I don't know how much of this stuff he used, but I suspect it was um, quite a lot. In the back, we find intake manifold with small injectors. I'm not even going to bother servicing these. I'm just going to bin them, and we'll put on a brand new set of injectors. Intake manifold, all the normal stuff's going to happen. Cold start injector's going because it's got an aftermarket ECU. Throttle body, the bolt in here, it's going to go. We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to have a nut inside a throttle body. I mean, ridiculous. Idle speed's getting changed to a two wire. Jace, remove the wiring limb. Um, slightly forcefully. So this one. That was the size of the wiring loom, and the the hole that it came through would not fit this wiring loom through. And there's the other end, and it wouldn't fit those through. That little hole, you can't fit them through. So it was removed. No, we can't reuse stuff like this. Uh, leads are going, set of coils are going into it, brand new injectors, and we're going to rewire it for that same ECU, which was a uh, Link Plus, an early Gen 1 Link Plus. This is a real cool truck, and we're kind of doing the same job that we did on the Zephyr recently. So we'll just do a few highlights of what we're doing, so the customer can see what we're doing to his truck, and maybe there might be some tips for other guys who haven't watched some of that other stuff. We're going to be real brief on it. We're going to get it sorted, make it look good, make it run. We're not doing the whole truck. We're just doing the one bit. Then the customer's going to finish it off. What have you been doing for the last hour? Unsuccessfully trying to undo the crank bolt. The crank bolt, is that tight? Mm. we got to come up with a solution. Um, <coughs> bigger rattle. Oh, you've got the big rattle gun. Are you serious that it didn't move it? Mm, fucking touch it. Oh. Hey, We're going to replace the starter motor anyway. Oh. Let's let's hammer it. <coughs> Build a new lead for it. Go get some cabling, battery cabling. I'll just get rip it off here. And use it. <coughs> oh yeah, rip it off there. Right, hammer it. We'll get it. Otherwise, um, I don't know what we're going to do. Drill a hole through the firewall, through the bell housing. Lock up the crankshaft pulley and get the big bar onto it. You've got it stacked on the hoist, eh? So it can go up and down. Yep, yeah. you've got no wheels on it, so. It's kind of sketchy. Man borrowed my tie downs. We just have to tie it on. Just tie it, zip ties. Oh my gosh. Zip tie it to the hoist. It's, it's oh, I see. Sketchy. Yeah, mate. I've got it here, and that's about as far as I want to well, get. Well, do we, do you, do you, now you've got the wheels off, do you jack it up and move it under the spring hangers? Yeah, now you can actually, you can jack it up, put it under the spring hangers, Jason. And then it'll be fine. As long as these runs are long enough. Put, put a jack under the diffs, move it up, 
Move the hoist around. You just have to do the same when you take it off. Bobby. Yeah. You've, you've undone the bolt or broken the end of the crank off? I don't, it's undone the bolt. Woo! Navara. Jumper leads. Starter motor. And look, he got it. The, the battery wasn't grunting enough. The battery wasn't, no, you had to use a running car. Didn't help Is that the tightest one yet? That's the tightest one yet, eh? Didn't help, the starter motor didn't want to, um, there's a lot tight on it. Was it a virgin? Don't know. Well done, boy, well done. That's awesome. She looks like it's been um, You didn't try and suck your rag in. Oh, Do you yeah. want a new one? I've got new ones if you really want a new one. Looks like it's been fretting on it. Where's my phone? Get it out, make a decision. Uh, Jace, normally the nuts come, normally the wash, the, um, normally the sockets come off. Nice. I think you've probably turned that socket a little bit. I've got new ones if you want a new one. I Brands think Bankers. I think I'll put a new one on because it won't be past today. Fair enough, good idea. Hmm, no good. Mm. The spin's really, really nice. There's this funny little notch in it. Hey, that one's surprisingly smooth. Ha. Check it out. Yeah. yeah, look at those. Just the normal blisters, eh? There they go, look at them. Oh, great. Was there actually some antifreeze in there? It actually had green in it. Yeah, it was green. It's been, it's still green in there. Caps the rotors, oh, the rotors didn't look too bad. They just had, they're just in the oil bath now. They're, they've just got the normal, they're worn, yeah. but they're not all cracked to pieces. It's all broken. Thermostat? Uh, that was, uh... There's a thermostat down here, is this the one? Yeah, that's it. You'll, you'll just... Gravity. Oh, it's got the slater in it. Not the what? It's got a slater in it. It's like, oh, slater. Yeah. And that rubber's all just perished to bits. Yeah. It just it hit the ground, so it's all Right, so, our, so you got most of the mud off the front that you could. Yeah, without getting the water blaster in there. You're known for putting water blasters in here, of course. Yeah. And so we put the tensioner in, and then we've shoved the, the, the screwdriver in like so and now we can turn it over and of course i had a guy the other day he was worried because he'd lined up it on the marks the um the marks on the belt and then after doing a lap they weren't correct of course i'm never going to be correct again until you've done zillions of turns so we, we we check it on the marks on the belt and then we um we'll check it on the just the marks on the covers it's got air shocks in it. Yeah, the air, air, air thingies up front. Oh, well, sort of that was a long time ago where you had air shocks. Down, down. Water housing all ready to go. You kind of stuffed the cold start injector timer. We can actually have a look inside it and see what's in there, eh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, right. yeah. Let's turn her over. Oh, and of course you've got to deal with the the water temp sensor that was in the old one. The cooling system inside doesn't look bad. No, it Because it had antifreeze on it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I, I see what you were dealing with. Yeah. It's considering... It's been sitting for so long, this isn't the worst I've ever made. It's not the worst we've seen. I think the mud's preserved it. Oh, must be coming up on it now. Yep. FECC. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see the bottom one? Yep. Just. What were the 
What were the um, gaskets under there like? Under these like? Oh, fuck. It's stuffed? Uh, absolutely. Good. Oh, yeah, the cam seals are um, not bad. Not the worst I've seen. No, the, uh, the cam seals are actually mint. They're very dry, but not the, not the, actually the worst. So the water pump was a non-genuine. Yeah. Oh, it's a GMB. Yeah. I actually put I actually put a little set around the around them because they're a little bit ugly on the surface. Oh yep. Yep. Good. You know the tricks. So on the water bridge caskets, we we try not to put sealant on them, but if the surface is yucky. It's the technical word, and then we put some sealant on them, just to, just to give them a little bit of help. Well done. You know you don't need this coil anymore, eh? But you can't get to that bolt down the side. <laughs> you can't get the bolt because it's right next to the exhaust, eh? Yeah. I'll get the, I'll get the blanket for that. You got a blanket for it? Yeah, I've got, I've got flash blankers and cheap blankers. You're going to give the tablet covers a paint? Oh yeah, look, this is the hot Because it went into, here's our, here's our, our wire, does the loop, it comes back down here somewhere. Oh yeah, okay. So I think it's actually the trigger wires, trigger wires, which I think are those ones are over there. Oh, what you're thinking of these ones? Yeah. And this, and it had, oh, it had that plugged into it, see that little plug there? That plug there, it's plugged into the loom that goes in the front. This one? Yeah. That's your coil powers. So that's got your your coil power in it. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was in the coil. That one might have survived the... That's... Yeah, that was in that front little front one. Okay. Which goes in the... I, I really like the fact that the whole alternator wiring, I like the whole alternator wiring goes right up into that little tiny stuff over there. So check out and we'll see what, what's in that size over there. Yeah. It's little. Yeah. And this would have had an 80 amp on it. It's a 131 crown engine, so it's 80 amps on that alternator. You're about to put 110 amps up it. I think that wire's quite up to the job. Probably, probably not up to the job, Jase. No. Oh, should we pull that pin on that? Uh, now? Sure, let's remove the screwdriver. Kadunk. Kadunk, job done, man. You can place the key to it. What was the crack sensor? Was it covered in mud and crap? And I pulled the sensor out and then pulled the sleeve of mud out. I put my finger and pushed the sleeve of mud out. Right. It works, but it's nice to have a new one. And then we know it's going to work good for a long time. And same as the cam sensor. I'm not, I'm not interested in stuff around, eh? We know it's good for a long time now. Good stuff. Um, we'll do, I haven't got you the Bosch knock sensors either. I want to put Bosch knock sensors in it. Well, you, those are, that one's broken, so we might as well do Bosch ones. I They're cheaper than genuines. I need some uh, for the other, for the six cylinder I'm working on. We don't talk about that. It's even, it's in this one even too. Yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll get the Bosch ones and the studs. I'll go find the right bits for you, hey? Sure. I'm going to try and get the start of it out next. It's not too filthy inside. No. Yeah. You want the start of it? Hey, you mess. Oh, Poppy. Oh, you want to rub? You'll miss me. Do you? Um. It was going to rust through. It's got tide marks. Yeah. Um. So injectors getting thrown. That pulley's getting thrown. That's good. They look quite lovely, don't they? If the power hadn't gone out, it would be better. Yeah, who needs power? Back on. Obviously. And what's that wheel? Oh. 
So someone's taken all the, the extra tabs on it. Oh, because it's got an early link in it, I don't want to change anything. No. Just too hard. We'll just keep it simple and put it back in. You don't have to change the dipstick, Irene, because it doesn't have one. It's a crown. Pushed into the cylinder head. You've still got that coil on the side. No, I've been doing other stuff. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That acid actually deals to those pulleys not bad, eh? A bit of a buff and a tidy up, that'll paint up all right. Hey, puppy dog. Good girl. Right, well done. Oh, you're just pretty normal, eh? A little bit of fretting. Not bad. 198, is okay? 35. Oh, it's actually 32. Yeah. That'll do. Yep, that'll be good. Mm. It's better than it was. I think you... Yeah, definitely cut those fuel lines off. I'm actually wondering, Jace, if this one, if you you come out of there, I don't know if you're going to get into the back of the head, but we could always use this clamp here. It's a bit funny, eh? That's why I didn't go clipping that off like I normally would. Oh, that, that half the half of this is not there. Yeah, but you could we could cable tie it into that. Plastic. Yep. Oh. It looks good with the Bosch Knox sensors. That's nice and simple, eh? Oh, you've actually put a PCV valve and grommet on it instead of letting the wire go in there. I thought you were doing some electric tappets or something. Durable. Durable PCV valve timing. Yeah, electric PCV. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still stunned, eh? Right, okay. Yeah, so you've got the new injectors in. That solves the problem of the seized ones and the small ones. So we've got a little bit more size. We've got another 30 cc's. Well, well, and I reckon. I don't think this is going to be a very good performer anyway. Have you seen the exhaust panel holes? Oh, the factory crowns. But have you seen what they've done to them? Oh, yeah, they've like, cut them off in the middle and run them down. Yeah, and then they're like. They're... We put. In that other one we did, we put our proper heaters in these, eh? In one of these. Okay. Right. From right, yep. So you got the fuel pressure sensor in here. I reckon you cut it off. Oh, it's right by that. Just on this up step. On that top of here. I reckon. Yeah, straight. And just, no, just bend it up so it's, it's like that. We'll give those spark plugs back, they're not actually that old. But I want the proper ones in it for this particular job. Proper iridiums. They just work so much better, don't they? Guess what I'm doing. Oh, I can see that. Yep. Yeah. Are, we gonna, are you going to get that back coil in okay? I've got the lead out, so I should get the lead. Uh, cool, yep. It's looking good, eh? It's very far in, I don't think I could reach. My boobs get in the way. Yeah, well. It looks nice, simpler down through the front. Some new bearings to go on. This is the old metal wiring for it. Oh, it looks almost, that's nah, not as bad as Brendan's, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's there pretty, you go. pretty spunky. Oh, here we go. Yeah, nah. It's probably like Brendan's, eh? Yeah, it's not, not pretty. If we, if we add in like five more wires to that, it'd be just like this. Yeah. All right, guys. Jace has had a really, really big week on this one, and it's come up really fantastic. So from where we started, it was from where it was a bit of a mess. He's done prep. We we call this engine prep, but there's also, of course, wiring stuff in it. You know, just like you know, you got that grommet and firewall. There's a wiring loom to the starter motor already because we were doing that. This cam and crank angle sense has been changed. All that sort of stuff has been done. So he is now ready to get into it next week and do some wiring. <laughs>